So we use this silicone caulk. You'll need some sandpaper. So if the pipe for the spout coming out of the wall doesn't look like this, and it looks like this where there is a fitting at the end, since you can slip the red disc over the fitting, now we have a split version that fits around the pipe and seals against water going back behind. So the things you're going to need in order to do this install is first you want to make sure that the wall is clean of any old caulking material, plumber's putty, and also it's nice and dry because we're going to apply some silicone here to make sure that the disc sticks to the wall. So as I said, you have the split version that looks like a jigsaw puzzle. They go together just like this. Since we can slip an O-ring over this pipe, this area will get filled with silicone caulk. I like to use this 2.8 ounce version. Gives me more precision to apply the caulking material. So here's how it would look. You take the caulking material, apply a small bead all the way around, and where the two pieces meet. Keep in mind, this is on the back side, so we have the words in the front. So once you've done that, we make sure again the wall is clean. You can take a small piece of sandpaper 220 grit sandpaper and just make sure that the area where the red disc sits against the pipe is nice and clean on both sides free of any debris take the paper towel again one more time make sure that section of the pipe is nice and clean in this case again we'll have some silicone caulk that is just gonna seal the final part of our red disc. So once you've applied the silicone to the back side and you've put that silicone where the two pieces meet, take that all the way against the wall, push it against the wall, let it sit just like that. Do the same thing with the second piece. Both pieces are actually identical. Do the same thing with the second piece just like that. Then we have a small bead of silicone caulk all the way around and in between. Don't forget the between right there. And you just line the two up and these two pieces just meet. Perfect fit. Push it against the wall. As you push it against, you know you got a fair amount of silicone caulk as the silicone starts oozing out in between and should also get a little bit coming out of the sides. There it is right there. So push it against the wall until you get that silicone coming out. Then, as I said before, since we cannot get an O-ring over the pipe because of the fitting, we'll take the silicone caulk and apply a fair amount in the center where that o-ring usually goes. This will seal any small gaps there just like that. Now it's time to clean up and look for any pinholes. Clean up around the edges Just like that. Run your finger where the two pieces meet. Make sure those gaps are filled with the silicone. And looks pretty good. 
this part here needs to be pushed back just a little bit more again your wall may not be even but just do the best you can to make sure that the two pieces are fitting together and look for any pinholes I see one right here so I'm just going to put a little bit of that silicone caulk there and you just rub it in there and it will fill that gap up there it is and again these are surface pinholes because remember we put that silicone caulk in between where the two meet there you have it now we should have a waterproof spout pipe coming out of the wall Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification.